This is Dr. Kim Duramo, and this is your Ho'oponopono-based mind-body healing meditation. Use this meditation at any time to ignite inner healing as a way to release struggle, pain, anxiety, and to create peace, health, and prosperity. Also use this as a way to heal and clear any and all challenges you are experiencing in your outer life. In this work, we will use a metaphor to describe your inner world and the components of your true self, the father, mother, and child. The father aspect of yourself represents your super conscious your superconscious is beyond your ordinary conscious state. It represents source energy, the energy that created you, the energy that heals the body, the energy of your highest wisdom. You can access this superconscious level at all times through the father connection. The mother represents your conscious mind. This is your ordinary state of consciousness that you have awareness of on a daily basis. You make choices, decisions, and take actions through your conscious mind. The conscious is represented by the mother. The child represents your subconscious. Your subconscious is a collection of all the data, memories, ideas, beliefs, thoughts, judgments, that have been accumulated throughout all of your life. The subconscious is not something you have conscious awareness of. You see the reflection of it through your life experience and can become aware of what's held in the subconscious mind. However, it is the child that owns all of the data in the subconscious mind. Burdens are held in this space of subconscious. Pains, ailments, worries, concerns, anxieties, anger, hatred, and all fear is held in the subconscious. The purpose of this meditation is to connect the mother and the child, your conscious with your subconscious mind for the purpose of having the child Clear itself completely so that you no longer carry these burdens and this limiting energy. The relationship between your conscious and subconscious minds, mother and child, is the number one most important relationship in your existence. And it affects every aspect of your life. You're going to come into a loving connection with this child and ask it to please let go of the data in this memory bank causing the toxic ideas, judgments, beliefs, and memories that are the core of all limitation you experience in life. Begin by closing your eyes and allowing your body to relax completely. Take a slow, deep breath all the way down to your pelvis and relax as you let the breath go. Let your shoulders relax. Let your spine be straight or you can be lying down. Take another deep cleansing breath with the intention of relaxing your entire body. Relax and release the breath completely. Bringing all of your awareness and attention into your body. Taking another full deep breath. Let your belly expand as you breathe in. And relax as you exhale. See the child in your mind's eye. You might see it physically or just feel it or be aware of the presence of the child. This is an aspect of you. 
let the child know that you acknowledge its presence. For the first time maybe in your entire life, I acknowledge your presence in me. We will use the Ho'oponopono mantras to come into a loving communion with the child. Always approach your child gently, slowly, and with great care. Let the child know that you sense its pain, that you sense maybe its fear, and see the child with your mind's eye. I am so sorry for all the time I have not acknowledged your presence in me. And just gently say to the child, I am so sorry for all the time you've gone unseen. I'm sorry for all of the accumulated memories that you experience as sorrow, grieving, pain, and limitation. Acknowledging your responsibility that all of the woe that the child has, that you've created, that you've accepted and accumulated, that you would like to now have it undone. Tell the child, please forgive me for all of the ways I haven't acknowledged you. I haven't cared for you the way you so deserve to be loved and cared for. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. You may feel some of the child's pain, some of the child's fear, or some of the child's Withdrawal, and that is fine. Continue to let the child know, I am so sorry. You are totally right for all the ways you've felt abandoned, for all the ways you felt lonely, for all the ways you've lived in fear, and I am so sorry for all the ways I've not acknowledged your presence in me. After all this time, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. For all of these wrongdoings in the past, I had no idea what I was doing. And the last person I would ever want to hurt is you. I love you so much. Let this child know I love you so much. You are the most important part of me, and I am just beginning to really see this now. Take a slow, deep breath. Always ask the child for permission Let the child be in charge of itself. So without force or your own agenda, putting those aside, speak to the child and let it know, please allow me to love you. Please allow me to give you all of the care that you deserve. Please allow me to do this now. And just see yourself gently touching the child in a loving way maybe stroking its head or touching it on the back. You can ask the child, please give me your hand and gently stroke the child's hand lovingly or just hold it in yours. I am so sorry. I love you so much. I see your hurt and your pain. It's been you hurting in me and I'm so sorry for the ways I've abandoned you, not given you my attention and all of my love. Breathe slowly and move slowly with the child. This most important relationship. I love you so much. You are the most important part of me. Any ways that I may have manipulated you, I'm sorry. And you're going to ask the child to please release all of these fear thoughts, trauma memories, limiting beliefs that have held you and this child back. Please release all of these memories. Please release all of this data. Please release all of this energy that's caused so much limitation. I love you so much. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Let's release all of these old memories now. And you can ask the child for its other hand if that feels right. 
and gently receiving its hand, stroking it gently or just holding it, holding this child and looking right at this child, letting this child know you can let all of our fears go. You can let all of this data that creates our fears go now. You can let all of the information, energy, and data that creates our anger completely release now. You can let all of the beliefs of lack and limitation, all of the beliefs that create lack in our life, completely release now. Just letting this child know. And then taking some inventory of all the pains and challenges you've been aware of in your life. You are seeing the reflection of the data stored in this child. So call upon each of those now within yourself, this pain, this limitation, this struggle. I am aware of this. Whatever is the core of this, the memories that created it, please let all of this go. Maybe there's a pain that you've had in your body, letting the child know you identify this pain. Whatever it is that is at the core of this pain, whatever data, memories, ideas, beliefs, experiences have created this, please release this and let them go. It's time for us both to be free. Taking a deep breath as you do an inventory for anything else that's coming up in your life that you know you're ready now to release. Moving slowly, lovingly with this child. And all of these pains, struggles, the awareness that there is lack in the world and any pain I experience from that, the powerlessness I feel to do anything about my life situation or the people around me or my circumstances, maybe my health or the way I feel, whatever created this powerless and the powerlessness and the circumstances, please release this now fully and completely at the core of the data that created it. I love you so much. I am so sorry you've had to hold any of this. Let's please let this go now. Taking another deep breath. And you can move your hands to the child's shoulders if that feels right for you and gently hold this child. I am so sorry. I love you so much. Please forgive me and let's be free. If it feels right to give the child a gentle, loving hug, move toward that now, asking the child, being responsive for how the child is responding to this gesture. Would it be okay if I give you a gentle hug? If the child feels like it will receive that, move toward this gesture and lovingly, gently hold this child. I love you so much. You are the most important part of me. I'm sorry for all the ways I've failed to love, nurture, protect, and care for you. From this moment on, I make this relationship the most important aspect of my life. Please forgive me. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you so much for releasing this old data that's held us back. Thank you so much for being the most beautiful part of my life. Let's create magic together. And inhaling slowly, bringing this love into your body, feeling this love that you are now showing up to yourself with, integrating within you, exhaling and releasing any old tension, ideas, beliefs, letting the child release this through your physical body. And so in your mind, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Thank you for being a part of me. Thank you so much for all that you are. And as a completion, we will do seven rounds of a special breathing exercise called the seven rounds of Ha in the Hawaiian Ho'oponopono healing ritual. 
This is a way of nurturing and strengthening the child and the relationship between the mother and child, your conscious and subconscious. So slowly breathing in to the count of seven, and I will guide you through this. And then you hold the inhale for a count of seven. And then you slowly exhale for a count of seven. And you hold the exhale for a count of seven. We'll do seven rounds of ha breathing. Slowly inhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold the exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhaling again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and holding, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold the exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, inhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold the inhale, three, four, five, six, seven, exhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and inhale, two, three, this is your fourth breath, six, seven, hold the inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold the exhale, two, three, four, gently connecting with your body, inhaling, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and holding, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Relaxing in this connection with your child, your subconscious mind, this aspect of yourself, knowing this is the most valuable an important thing that you can possibly do. Letting your child know now that it is free to constantly and continuously use the Ho'oponopono clearing to release all accumulated data related to anything you're experiencing in every moment and to prevent any new data and memories from accumulating and teaching that child the I love you I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, by instilling this mantra infinitely, eternally, and allowing it to use it whenever it would like and to use it continually. Ask the child if that would be okay with it. And then just lovingly thank your child. Thank you for this connection with you. Thank you for being a part of me. Thank you for our work together. This partnership is the most important partnership of my life for my health, for my money, for my relationships, for my work and any career that I'm doing in any way that I'm adding value in the world. This is the core of all. Thank you for being here for me. 
And in closing, letting your child know, I will always be with you. Let me know everything you need. I will continue to respond and we will create an amazing life and an amazing world together.